Today's Mass is offered in memory of Raymond Ward and the Honorable Family by Lauren Ward. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we begin our celebration, we acknowledge that we have sinned and we ask for God's mercy. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Look upon your family, Lord, that through the chastening effects of bodily discipline, our minds may be radiant in your presence with the strength of our yearning for you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, your God, for as the rain and the snow come down from heaven, I do not return there until they have watered the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I propose and succeed in the thing for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Consolos son, from their afflictions, God will deliver the just. From, from their afflictions, God will deliver the just. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. From, from all my afflictions, Look to him and be radiant, so your faces shall never be ashamed. This poor soul cried and was heard by the Lord, and was saved from every trouble. From, from all the their afflictions, God will deliver the just. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against evildoers to cut off their remembrance of them from the earth. From all their afflictions, the Lord will deliver the just. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and rescues them from all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. From all their afflictions, God will deliver the just. Gospel acclamation. Glory and praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. No one lives on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When the disciples had gathered around Jesus on the hillside, he began to teach. When you are praying, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard because of the many words. Do not be like them. For your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. Pray then in this way. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. 
and forgive us our debts, as we have forgiven our debtors. And do not bring us to the time of trial, but rescue us from the evil one. For if you forgive others <coughs> their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. The Gospel of the Lord. Every so often, Mom would get frustrated with us when we were kids, and maybe not just as kids, but she would say something like, How many times do I have to tell you that? We were smart enough not to give the number, because that would have certainly made matters worse. But that is very much part of how, who we are and how we listen. Sometimes we get it on the first time or the second. Sometimes it takes much more before what is being told to us takes fruit. It's kind of like our conversation before Mass. We hear the same reading countless times, then all of a sudden something makes sense. God's Word is beginning to take or do what it's accomplished. I think there is great comfort in that realization that God's Word, once it is spoken, will bear fruit in our lives. Maybe not the first time we hear it, or the first, second, or the tenth, but at one point we'll understand what God is speaking to us, and then that Word will bear fruit. Maybe that's why the Church relies so much on the same cycle of readings over and over again, that by hearing God's Word repeatedly, parts of, the part that we need to hear will be heard. With confidence, we turn to our Father in heaven as we bring our knees, our response, Lord, hear it. <coughs> Lord, Lord, hear our, our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For true dialogue between church and society, may the path of perseverance, patience, and mutual understanding make us more attentive to the needs of, our, of others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government leaders, may they respond to the poor's call for justice in the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish communities, may they be attentive to the guidance of development and peace in building a just society. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our pastoral unit. May we respond to the call to participate in the preparing of the upcoming synod. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who experience suffering, may we be a supportive and praying presence in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed. May their faith and good works lead them to eternal life. We pray to the Lord. God our Father, we thank you for gathering us together as people of faith. Receive the prayers we offer you and grant us what we need through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed is God Lord. 
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. For praise the Lord for us. Receive, O Creator, Almighty God, what we bring from your bountiful goodness, and be pleased to transform this temporal sustenance you have given us, that it may bring us eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. <laughs> Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one of the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Claude, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and bring us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my room, but I may deliver that my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant us, through these mysteries, Lord, that by moderating earthly desires we may learn to love the things of heaven 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. With all the terrible news coming out of Ukraine, it's very heartwarming to see something good and beautiful. It was in one of the bomb shelters, a young girl, maybe 10, singing Disney songs. <laughs> I thought, wasn't that really sweet, entertaining people and giving a little normal in a horrible time? The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And let us go in the peace of Christ. Amen. Amen.